So you're buying a house and a home you've been following that you like and maybe you went to see goes under contract and you're a little heartbroken, right? That was a house you really liked and, and there it's gone. Somebody snagged it up. And then about a week later, you notice it's back on the market. Why? What happened? Why is that buyer not buying that house anymore? Is there a problem? That's what we're talking about today and we're starting right now. I'm Sherri Ann Green with Coldwell Banker. Welcome to my YouTube channel that guides home sellers and home buyers in Washington, D.C. and Northern Virginia. So you're buying a house and you found one you really like and unfortunately it went under contract before you could get it or maybe you lost out in a bidding war. Nevertheless, the home is off the market and it's under contract. But then, a week or two later, you notice the house magically comes back on the market. And your question is, why? Why did that house come back on the market? Why is the buyer not buying it anymore? Why is the seller not selling it to that person anymore? It's a good question. And it often makes buyers think that there is something radically wrong with the house. It can put a stigma on the house, but it doesn't have to. There are a lot of reasons that a house could come back on the market and it could have nothing to do with the house. So that's what I want to talk to you about today is why do homes that go under contract come back on the market? What caused that to happen? Here are the most common reasons that homes come back on the market after being under contract. The first most common problem is financing. There are buyers who get very excited about buying a house and they overbid what their finances will let them do. They get excited about buying a house and they Maybe they put in a large escalation clause or maybe they just start way too high to begin with. They've only had a lender do a very quick check, maybe a pre-qualification, not a pre-approval. When the lender and the underwriter digs into the details, they find things that don't add up for this buyer spending that amount of money, for this buyer getting that size of a loan. If the buyer's financing falls through, the house can come back on the market. The other thing that can fall apart with financing is the buyer loses their job. It's a terribly sad situation, but there are times when people are under contract and they lose their job. And then when the underwriter goes to do that last check of income and employment, it doesn't add up. And so therefore the buyer loses their financing and the home can come back on the market. Going along with financing is the appraisal. Again, a buyer may go in, guns a-blazing, let's call it, and put in a very large escalation clause or just jump right in and say, I'll offer you this much over everybody else because I really want this house. And then the appraiser comes in and says, no, that's too much. We're not going to let you spend that kind of money on the house. We're not going to let the lender give you that kind of a loan on that house. And so we have an appraisal problem. Now, when you have an appraisal problem, the two sides really should work hard to negotiate it. If one appraiser has told you that the house isn't worth what the buyer is willing to pay, there's a decent chance another one is going to say the same thing. Certainly, a different appraiser could have a different opinion. They could use different comparable properties, but you're under contract. You've probably been under contract for two to maybe three weeks at this point. And the better option for both parties is truly to come to an agreement on a sales price that makes sense related to that appraisal. But if the buyer has an appraisal contingency and they are allowed to get out of that contract in the event of a low appraisal, then the house can come back on the market. The next reason some houses come back on the market is the home inspection process. And this is probably what a lot of buyers think when they see a home they like come back on the market. Oh, they did a home inspection and there's something really wrong with the house. The truth is in DC, it doesn't have to be something really wrong with the house for the buyer to get out of their contract on the home inspection. There doesn't have to be a line item for a certain amount of money that needs to be repaired or needs to be credited. It doesn't have to be any big event. There could be something major with the house. If there is, if there has been a home inspection on that house and something major has been found, the seller is now required to disclose it. Remember, the disclosures that you get in DC are pretty thorough, and the seller has to disclose anything they know that is a problem with the home. So if they go under contract and their buyer does a home inspection and they find something major like the roof is leaking, that seller either needs to fix it before they put it back on the market, 
or they have to disclose that issue. A buyer canceling on the home inspection doesn't always mean there's a major problem. And here's the other thing to think about. Maybe it's not a major problem for you, even if it is a major problem. Maybe it does need a new roof, but maybe you're okay with doing that because you love the house. Maybe the investment of a new roof is worth it for you. So that's the other thing to think about. One buyer's big problem may not be a big problem to you. So don't let the stigma of a house going back on the market from a home inspection cause you not to buy the house that you really love. As a buyer inside a condo co-op or an HOA association, you will get a packet of documents that you get to review. It's the bylaws and the rules and the fees that are related to living in that community. If the buyer finds something in those rules and regulations, the finances that they don't like, they can get out of the contract because as a buyer into that situation, they have to be agreeable to whatever those rules, regulations, and finances are. And if they're not, they get the opportunity to cancel their contract. Now, one buyer canceling over the condo documents doesn't mean that another buyer would. Perhaps this buyer wanted to get a pet and they forgot to ask that question ahead of time and then they get the condo rules and regulations and it says no pets allowed. Those are the kind of things you should be asking up front. Of course, you do not want to wait till you're under contract to find out if your pet can come with you. But my point is there could be something very minuscule in those condo documents, HOA documents or co-op documents that cause the buyer to cancel their contract and it still could be the right place for you. Another reason some homes come back on the market is simply the buyer got cold feet. Sometimes buyers get very caught up in the process. And in doing so, they wind up putting an offer in on a place that after they've slept on it a few nights, they realize is not the right place. Maybe it's more money than they wanted to spend or it's a neighborhood that they really don't want to live in, but they really loved the house. So they put an offer in on it. If the buyer has a set of contingencies, a finance contingency, a home inspection contingency or something else, there are often ways that that buyer can cancel that contract legally and then the house comes back on the market simply because the buyer got cold feet. It happens, I've seen it happen, and it is frustrating, but it could be an excellent opportunity for you if the buyer cancels because of cold feet and the house comes back on the market and now you get the opportunity to purchase it. The thing to remember with all of these reasons is that none of them may be reasons that affect you. None of these reasons may be reasons that lead you to say, I shouldn't buy this house. One person's opinion of condo documents or home inspection items or the price of the home is their opinion. It may not be yours. It could be a golden opportunity for you to jump in and get that house that you really wanted because another buyer chose to do something different. Have you seen any of these things happen in your home search or home sale process? Have you seen a buyer get out of their contract and the house come back on the market? What did you think? What are the reasons why you saw that happen? Leave me a note in the comments. I'd love to hear what you've experienced. And while you're here, if you're new to my channel or even if you're not and you've just never subscribed, make sure that you do. I post videos every week and I'd love to have you come along.